The 900 Ennis is the historic shipwrights cottage that our neighborhood association is trying to protect through the device of landmarking status. It's the last remaining evidence of a thriving shipbuilding business that was once here in India Basin. In San Francisco, old ships were dismantled after the gold rush for uh, finished lumber. And it, it, so we were one of the first skills working in this city to build the city. The Bay Scows that were so important for the area's commerce for many years were all built right here. The largest one in the Bay Area called the Ondine was built here and it, it was quite a bit larger than the Alma which is down at the um, Aquatic Park, probably 50% larger than that. And all up and down that street, you would have had people that were just living there who would be working in that, in that industry right there in the, on those yards. As you can see from this photograph, this building was here at least as far back as the 1890s. You can see the windmill and you can see the water tank house uh, that were located behind the house for many, many years. Um, and if you compare it with the, this panoramic photo taken about 1900, you can see the rear shed roofed addition on the back of the house, the windmill, and the tank house. I mean, it was, it was an old building when I was in it in, in the 18, 1948 or 50. I mean, it was obvious it was, it was something that had been there a very, very long time. It's so unfortunate that others have been knocked down, but it appears to be about the only one that has a link to the history of the boatyard. Uh, 900 Ennis really needs to remain where it, where it is located. In order to be listed in the National Register, the property cannot be moved, especially moved away from the street because it relates to the street. All of the historic residential structures associated with this community were on the street. They weren't on the water. There's no, no place in San Francisco that honors shipwrights or boat builders. The community has to be constantly reminded of the of all aspects of its heritage and work as an important component of a heritage. I believe that if workers are shorn or cut apart from their history and their traditions, that they're lessened as human beings. I'm glad I was a shipwright. Why shouldn't shipwrights be remembered?